Hi, this is Tina with Sid Happens Dog Training and Behavior and the Pot Cake Project. And um, I've started muzzle training Marco for a variety of reasons. Um, one is that we need to be able to get veterinary care and he can be sketchy about new people handling him. So one, I, I, I use muzzling quite a bit. Um, and, and the reason is it keeps everybody safe. Um, on a forum this morning, they were talking about how you know, do people use those vests or those leashes that say, you know, warning, fearful, or reactive dog? And um, honestly, I, I don't ever recommend you use that because I'm pretty sure in some municipalities that would be like an admission that your dog is dangerous. Um, it's one of those things that's really awesome in theory, but in practice probably isn't such a great idea. Um, partially because there is always some dog person who all dogs love them um, and they rush up and those are invariably the people your dog has bad experience with because the person's way too intense they're emotionally invested in is this dog gonna like me and so it just brings a whole bunch of crazy into the mix so I've started muzzle training Marco it's important when you muzzle train that it's not a crisis right so you don't want to have your dog have a bad experience and then suddenly you slip a muzzle on them. Um, that's pretty much a great way to get a dog reactive about a muzzle. Um, one of, so we don't want that. We want to build it separate. Um, I also use muzzles because it is a great way to regulate the human race. Um, they will tend to keep their dog and themselves away from a dog with a muzzle on, which is kind of silly to me. That's a safe dog, but I'm really glad that it has that side effect. It allows, when I'm working with a fearful dog, to um, it allows us to relax a little bit. Humans tend to naturally then give way and defer and give some space. Um, there are a couple of different kinds of muzzles you can use. Um, one I recommend, one I don't. Um, this is kind of the one you generally are gonna see at the vet's office or at a pet store. Um, these are a problem, although they look like, oh yay, it would be really comfortable. It inhibits your dog's ability to breathe. Um, they also can't signal. It's very difficult to get treats to them. It's just not an ideal scenario at all. Um, what is What I more recommend is something like this Baskerville Ultra Muzzle. Um, it has four hitch, or three hitch points. It hitches under the you know attached to the collar, over the forehead, and then around the neck. So it attaches this way. And I don't know if you can see Marco's little head over here going, "Hey, that's my feed bag." Um, but yes, this is his feed bag, which is will eventually become his big bird muzzle. Um, yes, it looks like your dog is Hannibal Lecter. It does, um, but. One of the advantages of a muzzle is that everything go, can go wrong. I can sneeze, a car can backfire, a transformer can blow up on the pole, and a toddler can run out of the shrubbery and hug Marco, and I don't have to worry that anybody's gonna get hurt. It doesn't mean that, I, that Marco won't have an extreme emotional response. It won't mean that he won't try to bite a child. Hopefully this would never happen. Um, but it allows everyone to stay safe. Um, and so there are some distinct advantages. A couple of people, actually a lot of people on pot cake have asked for some muzzle training stuff. There's great videos on YouTube. I'm not the only person who knows how to do this. Um, but you, I would recommend that you build the muzzle separate from whatever the emotional difficult situation is for your dog. Trying to do it in the midst of the crazy doesn't work. It, it just doesn't. So um, if you're enjoying this video, please like us on Facebook. You can subscribe on YouTube um, and feel free to share the video as well. Um, this is a labor of love for me. So um, these dogs really suffer and sometimes their families do too. And I wanna try to bless and help as many people as I can. So, um, I think those of you who have worked with me know that um, this is important for me um, and for them, that they are made more comfortable and better able to get along in the world. 
So if you don't need it, I think that's great. If you think you might need it, you do, and you should start the training. And I'll do videos as we go. So this is Tina with Sid Happens Dog Training and the Pot Cake Project um, on Muzzling 101. And we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.